So this question says the average arithmetic mean of 100 measurements is 23. So I'm going to translate that first and foremost. So what does that tell me? First of all, how do I find a mean? How do I find an average? We find an average by taking the sum of the number of things we are finding the average of and then dividing by the number of things that we have. So in essence, what do I know here? I do not know the sum of the 100 measurements, but I do know that we have 100 measurements and I do know that the average is 23, right? So this is a representation of what I just read, right? The average of 100 measurements is 23. And I'm gonna take this one step further and multiply by 100 just so I can figure out what this X value actually is. And what I get here is X is equal to 2,300. Okay, the next part of this sentence says, and the average of 50 additional measurements is 27. So I'm gonna do the same, the same process that I just used and say, well, the sum of those 50 measurements, I'm, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna call it Y. But I do know that when I divide by 50 to find the average, the question is telling me that that average is equal to 27. So again, I'm going to figure out what the Y value is here. So multiply both sides by 50. And Y is equal to 27 times 50. And therefore, I go to my calculator for that. And 27 times 50 is 1,350. Okay, so now let's look at the actual question. Quantity A, the average of the 150 measurements. Well, how do I find that, right? How do I find the average of the 150 measurements? Well, it's going to be the sum of all those X values plus the sum of all those Y values divided by the total number of measurements we have now, which is 150. Like, that is how I answer that question. So because I did some work before looking at the answers here, or before looking at quantity A here, I know that X is 2300, and I know that Y is 1350. So I'm just adding those together, dividing by 150, which turns into 3650 over 150. And then I throw that into um, my calculator, which you'll have an on-screen calculator for this test. And I get 24.33 like this. So quantity A is 24.33 bar. Quantity B is 25. And therefore, quantity B is greater than quantity A. And our answer must be this one here.